my beauties welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be all about foundation we're gonna treat this as maybe a series like I would say series because sometime last year I did why your makeup never comes out right or why your makeup never look like your favorite influencer or your favorite makeup guru and that video you guys liked it so well because I explained everything for you guys so with that video it was kind of makeup in general but I decided to make this into series now because I find that people still have problems you know when it comes to makeup so it's just gonna be better to break it down from your foundation to your concealer you know everything when it comes to makeup and also earlier this year I did why your eyeshadow never comes out right I'm definitely gonna link those two videos in you know somewhere up here so you guys can check that out but for today's video I decided to just bring it down to the foundation because you guys know foundation is actually the main thing it's just like when you are when you're building a house right you need your foundation your foundation needs to be solid so if your foundation routine is not solid guys it will be like your makeup will never turn out right I always have that issue where sometimes I will skip one step when I'm doing my foundation and then after I'm done, I'm like, oh my gosh, this doesn't look good, right? So I'm going to try as much as possible to relax and break every single step down for you guys, especially for people like me who don't have a perfect skin because as you all can see my skin, it's still, you know, we are still working on it. It's not exactly where I want it to be, but it's actually far okay, better. Okay, so we're starting with a freshly washed face. I don't have anything on my face whatsoever, nothing. I just applied my skincare um, um, acne treatment. That's the only thing I have on my face right now. So, of course, before you apply anything on your face, guys, the very first thing you always have to remember is your primer. I know... Like back in the day, I would just pick up my foundation and apply without applying my, my primer. But guys, primer is very, very important. It's just like when you're painting a wall. If you're a painter, you know you have to first of all prime your wall before then applying the paint. So that is also applicable when it comes to your foundation on your face. So when it comes to primer, guys, we have different types of primers. We have, depending on your skin type, we have, of course, some some people have combination skin we actually have three different skin types we have the oily skin we have the combination skin and we have the dry skin so if you're human you have to fall into these three three um, skin cat categories for people who have oily skin like myself people who like maybe after a few hours you notice like when you swipe your skin you notice oil that's oily skin and when it comes to um, combination skin, it's for people who have kind of 50% oily and 50% dry skin. I feel like those people are actually more difficult because finding right products for you is always more difficult because it's like you have to always mix in between oily and dry, right? To be able to get that combination skin. But if you're on oily side or if you're on, on a dry side, definitely these primers are going to come in so 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 useful for you and then when it comes to primer just like we have the oily the dry and the combination skin they also have primers specifically for those um skin types so we have of course illuminating primers are primers that are meant for people who have dry skin of course when you have a dry skin you know you need something that could help with hydrating your skin because just think about it if your skin is dry right what comes to your mind first when you want to kind of not get rid of but kind of um tone down that dry skin right you have to moisturize that's what always comes in mind so if you have a dry skin the best thing for you is to go ahead and use an illuminating primer illuminating primers are going to help a lot with adding that hydration to your skin and then when you have an oily skin like myself, we are a bunch of oily people, guys. I would really, really recommend a matte primer. Of course, we have different primers from different brands. You guys always know that my favorite is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. That primer is like my absolute favorite primer when it comes to oily skin. But I don't know why they discontinued that primer. But then when you have an oily skin, guys, using a mattifying primer is your best friend. Like mattifying, of course, mattifying means it's going to kind of 
mattify you know kind of uh, tone down the oil on your skin that is where mattifying primers come into play but then if you are 50% oily and 50% dry you can go ahead and use an in between an in between primer this right here is um smart the smashbox photo finish oil free um, foundation primer this right here i find it to be in between so this for oily this for combination and this for dry skin and of course because of the fact I have um, oily skin I'm gonna go in with the matte primer you don't need to apply a lot just this all you need to do is to go ahead and just distribute it all over your face and then rub it in you can either tap it or you rub it in it all depends on you okay so this step is optional but if you're on the oily side like myself it's always recommended to go ahead and apply a primer this actually works wonders guys if you're having issues with your foundation turning oily so early after you apply it the best bet is to go ahead and use a powder you don't need to apply too much just use your makeup sponge pick up the, the powder you can use a translucent powder and just dab it on the areas you would normally start producing oil and for me it's always like the center of my face is so annoying like you don't even understand guys i hate it when i'm done with my makeup and then maybe two three hours after i, I just look at my nose and my nose is already as if i fried them um, maybe plantain on it it's so annoying applying powder under your foundation actually helps kind of control the way the foundation slides and slips all over your face so if you watch my makeup videos you guys know i don't miss this next step and it's all about color correction i always tell people like if you especially if you have dark spots and if you have blemishes guys don't ever ignore color correcting because color correction would actually kind of acts as a layer before your foundation and at the end of the day you will notice you achieve a much um a much coverage with your makeup than just going ahead and applying your foundation right after your primer or right after applying your powder so this next step it's all about color correction and like i always tell you guys we have different types of color correction it all depends as you all can see i have three major ones right here we have the yellow the green and the peach or the orange this orange one is so 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 good especially for medium and dark skin tones i also have this one right here it's kind of a color correcting um, pot a quad from ofra cosmetics this one is so amazing we have a darker orange we have a lighter orange and then we have this um, brown one this one right here is my favorite like if you watch my videos you guys know i love using a dark brown um concealer to color correct because it just works wonders for my dark spot i'm gonna probably do, be doing the brown and the peach you don't need to use the two it's either you use the, the the brown one or you use the orange one or you use the peach but because i have because of the fact that my acne is actually improving so you guys can see i have some acne that are darker than some so for the ones that are darker i'm going to use the dark um, brown concealer but then for the ones that are lighter i'm going to use i'm going to go in with the light peach um i'm going to go in with the peach concealer so for something like this it's so light you can barely see it so i'm just going to go in with the peach concealer and then for my dark spots that are so so obvious i'm going to go in with the um, dark brown concealer and like i always tell you guys i've tried this out so many times i find that using a dark brown concealer on my dark spots actually works better for me than all this orange and peach and green and whatever concealer I'm gonna go in like you guys look like um dark um matte like the ones i'm covering right now that is where i would use the dark brown concealer this works like magic so here we are guys i've already spot corrected all my dark spots and blemishes and for this it's always recommended to leave it for at least a minute or two because you need 
the the concealer to be a little bit dry that's the only way you can you know go ahead and achieve that full coverage and also by the time you're done with your makeup you don't see all your dark spots and your blemishes peeking through your makeup next thing is to go ahead and apply a foundation and i always kind of like to spend time and explain this foundation thing because a lot of people still get it wrong a lot of people still get their skin tone their undertone wrong when it comes to foundation and this is actually supposed to be very very easy for you to dictate what type of um, skin type or skin tone you have skin type is actually different from skin tone your skin type is if you're oily dry or combination but then when it comes to your skin tone guys it's very very easy as you all can see when you look at your skin here you guys can see i fall in the warm golden undertone so when you look at your skin especially like over here right whatever color you see here Kind of this is this is not like the the technical way but this is kind of the easiest way to dictate what kind of undertone you have so when you look at here or your chest area whatever color you see that is the the skin tone you have so some people have an olive undertone so that means when when you look at your skin you're kind of seeing like kind of grayish you know cool tone color when you look at your skin that is exactly how you are able to easily kind of distinguish what skin tone you have. You have the warm tone and the cool tone. But just go ahead and Google it. You will see exactly what I'm talking about. And this would, you know, make sure that you choose the foundation you exactly need for your undertone. Reason is because sometimes people have maybe an olive undertone and they go ahead and buy a foundation that have an orange or a golden undertone. And if you try it, you will notice that it kind of looks off. When you look at your skin and then your face, you will be like, no this doesn't look right that is because you're using the wrong undertone so you have to make sure you study this just go to google clicking undertones it will help break it down for you when it comes to foundation guys i have a lot of favorites and let me start with this because a lot of you have recently been asking me oh Marvel, what happened to your Kat Von D foundation like a lot of people tell me that I was actually the person that made them purchase Kat Von D and they are loving Kat Von D and then surprisingly I'm not using Kat Von D no more no guys it's not that I'm not using Kat Von D no more but the truth is this foundation this foundation was my holy 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 grail foundation back when I had severe acne prone skin guys and thankfully i'm going to say thank god that my skin is kind of progressing right my skin is getting better and better and better and i find myself not using this foundation that much anymore and that is because i don't have that kind of breakouts i used to have back in the day right so it's not that this foundation is bad this still remains my favorite foundation this has a hundred percent full coverage so if you're on the if you have an oil acne prone skin or if you're still breaking out and you're looking for a very good foundation for yourself please go and check out Kat Von D foundation this foundation is my holy grail but like i said i don't use it that much anymore because i find that the coverage i get from from this i really don't need it no more because any medium um coverage foundation works for me now unlike back then when medium foundation is like not a foundation. just like your primers we also have different types of foundation we have liquid we have cream and we have stick so as you all can see this one right here is a liquid foundation and then i have this one the the maybelline fit me this is a stick foundation and then we have the cream foundation this one is from um glaftobian so this is a cream foundation i always reach out for liquid foundation because for some reason it's easier to blend you just pop it on your skin and you use your brush blend it it's so easy for today's video i'm gonna go ahead and apply huda beauty for filter foundation this right here is my is one of my favorites i'm using the shade in cinnamon 440g then to apply my foundation guys you guys if you watch my tutorials you know i'm so in love with these brushes from beauty crush cosmetics they actually have um the pink set and also the green set the green set comes with five base and five eye so you can use this for your foundation 
we have this for powder really really high quality this for contour this one right here is kind of your paint um foundation and these are high quality affordable when i mean affordable guys if you're a beginner and you don't have much money to spend on brushes guys definitely check this out this one actually comes with a full set of brushes guys like when i mean full set i mean for your highlights for your contour for your foundation for your eyeshadow it, it has everything you need right here this is their pink set as you all can see we have this huge powder brush and then also i have the contour set as you all can see we have four different brushes right here beautiful affordable high quality from the same pink set we have this highlight brush guys also for the same pink we have their eye brushes we this is actually one of my favorite blending brushes because as you all can see it's huge it's very very you know perfect for going in and blending out all those eyeshadows so definitely check out my description box for all the info links and also coupon code for this brush set right here all right so of course you can go ahead and blend out your foundation with your brushes or your blender and it's been so long i used a blender to blend out my foundation so i'm probably going to blend this side with a blender and then this side with my brush just go ahead and dab the blender all over your face as you all can see i'm dabbing the blender on this side of my face i'm not rubbing i notice when you go ahead and rub your foundation guys especially when you have a problem stain you're not going to achieve that coverage you're looking for so just go ahead and dab i also use the dabbing motion when i'm using my brush I also notice a lot of people like to do their brows before their foundation. I also like to do that, but I notice most times I end up erasing my brows. So I'd rather just leave it, apply my foundation, and then do my brow. I'm just going to simply go in with my foundation brush, blend out this side, and then use it to blend everything. I just wanted to kind of satisfy myself with, with using blender because it's been so long I used blender to blend out my foundation. Once you apply your foundation, you notice that your face becomes just one tone. It becomes one color. It becomes your face. Your face just becomes flat. But then when you refer your face after you apply a foundation and your natural face, when you look at the human face, you will notice some colors and also some dimension and definition on the face. When you go ahead and apply some contour and highlights, you're easily just bringing back those um, dimensions and features on your face that the foundation took away so in order to kind of make my face balanced I'm gonna go ahead and contour and highlight and of course just like your primer just like your foundation when it comes to your concealer guys we also have different types of concealer we have the liquid concealer we have the cream concealer and also we have the stick concealer so it all depends on which one you find um best for you you want to make sure you use a concealer that is maybe one to two shades lighter for your skin when you're going ahead to highlight and then you use one that is one to two shades um, darker on the outside portion of your face in order to bring back that light and dimension the foundation took away so i'm going to go in with my la gel apply it on kind of my under eye my chin the bridge of my nose and also my forehead and then when it comes to the contour you want to go ahead and look at the tip of your of your ear and then do as if you're drawing a straight line that is an easy way to know exactly where to place your contour so for me it's right here it's always recommended to go ahead and contour and highlight especially if you have wide you know big face it will just help chisel out your face it will make your face look slimmer too and to blend out the contour i'm going to be using this brush this um contour and highlight brush this one is the beauty crush um bc large blender contour absolutely love it like all you need to do is just dab 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 the brush does the job for you you don't even need to overwork it if, if you have a big forehead right <laughs> it's always okay to blend your contour forward but if you don't have a big forehead it's always 
better to blend your your contour backwards so that way it's not going to shorten your forehead okay so the contour is well blended i'm going to go in with this um, makeup sponge i used earlier for the foundation and i'm going to use it to blend out the highlight And once I'm done blending, I'm gonna go in immediately and set because you don't want your concealer to crease, especially on your under eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced um, Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I'm gonna use this um, Beauty Crush Cosmetics Love Soft Blush Brush and just pick up the powder and use it to set all the areas where I applied my highlight. We're also going to go ahead and set the contoured area and I'm using my Anastasia um, contour powder palette. I'm going to pick up probably these two shades right here. Apply it on the areas where I applied the darker shade of the concealer. This will kind of help set it and keep it locked in. And of course guys, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. It really helps. Like it helps us a lot. So. Just take a moment and hit the like button below. Okay, so since this video is all about the foundation, guys, I would have just stopped here. But just to finish up the rest of the face, I'm quickly going to go ahead and do my eyes, my lips. Let's just finish it all up. And for my eyes today, I'm going to be using this new LA Girl um, eyeshadow palette, as you all can see gonna go in with this green shade right here also I went ahead and picked up my Beauty Crush Cosmetics um, green eyeshadow brushes these are the brushes I'm gonna be using they are green and they are pink eyeshadow brushes so I'm gonna quickly go in with um, kind of a transitional shade I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and probably mix it a little of the brown just to add a little bit of depth to my eye So next, I'm going to go in with this matte green eyeshadow right here and pop it right below the brown eyeshadow I just applied. For my lid, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's a very nice kind of emerald green shimmer. Okay, so to finish up my skin, I'm going to go in with blush and I'll apply this. I think this is the MAC Pinch Me blush. And then for highlights, I'm going to be using my MAC O oh Darling. And also, I'm using my Beauty Crush Cosmetics Fan Brush. It perfectly just deposits the look at that. It's been so long I used this um, lipstick. This is the YSL. Um, rogue whatever it doesn't even have a name but I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and apply it I just lined my lips and I'm gonna pop this right at the middle oh yeah guys I just wanted to make sure I finish up the rest of the face on camera but yes you guys I believe that is all there is to this video I hope this video was helpful if you're having any difficulty with your base your foundation I hope you found this video really really helpful please let me know which of this series to see next whether you want to see brows lashes concealer contour and highlight you know all those good stuff but yeah you guys please don't forget to hit that like button below and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video i will see you all very very soon bye Secret.